ladies and gentlemen, 2022 Not Scary Farm game plan. There are some new pieces on the board, so we had to rearrange how we do things this year. A lot of uh, time and thought went through this. So let's just, let's tell you what the best way to complete all mazes and scare zones at Not Scary Farm 2022, at least in our opinions. Still yeah. got to run it and test it, but this is looking like this is what it's going to be based off popularity. So popularity without being said, once you get into those beautiful gates and not scary farm, Sammy, what area, which way are you going to go to get to our first maze? Yeah, I'm going to go to the exit. Oh, okay. I'm just Sorry. kidding. The first one, what, what you're going to want to do is when you go in, you're going to want to get a hard left. Um, right past Ghost uh, Rider, and uh, go your way on over to the old uh, Gypsy Camp. Yes, sir. And you're going to want to hit the maze that is probably going to end up being a two-hour wait if you don't hit it quick, and that is Bloodline 1842. 1842, which is because we put this one first, it's mainly because of the gun technology. Now, Special Ops was a fan favorite, and it did have legit two-hour lines at some nights. So we want to make sure that you experience this first. That way you can get it out of the way and still enjoy the rest of your night and not waste um, as much time as you would if you did that later in the night. So Bloodline is going to be your very first maze you go through. Have some fun. Kill some vampires. You know, enjoy that new beauty of a maze for 2022. After that, you're going to get out. Now, we don't know exactly this year where they're going to let it out, let us out. Um, in the past, it's been both exits on each either side, uh, and it's even been the back door to go to the next maze. So we don't know how they're going to do this this year. We're going based off assumption that the exits will be on your sides, um, specifically the side that Paranormal left out. Correct. So from there, now it's going to get. We're going to throw you guys a little curveball here, Dammy, Dammy, Sammy threw me a little curveball when we were coming up with this game plan and i was like you know what that actually might work you're gonna go straight to the depths it's that big lighthouse in the corner right in the back corner you can't miss it it's right behind ghost rider and right in front of bloodline and dark entities it is that corner one you'll see the giant lighthouse you're gonna go straight to that maze enjoy that maze go underwater check out the creatures from there where are they gonna shoot out to sammy yeah, so what you shoot at is um, historically has been back, like towards the back of the gypsy. Um, and so then you're going to want to go hit dark entities. And I can promise you that that wait is probably going to be one of the shortest waits of the evening. Um, you're going to want to go hit dark entities, go see some spooky alien creatures, have a good time, have a couple laughs. Um, and then assuming once again that it's following the same footprint that had been there with paranormal, you're going to exit back out and you're going to hit the intro of gypsy camp, which is... Waxworks will be your final maze at Gypsy Camp. That's going to be your last maze to go through. Go enjoy Waxworks. By this, there might be like a, I will say like a 15 to 20 minute wait by this point because you've already hit three mazes. Um, the events, you know, everyone's starting to file in right now. And Gypsy Camp is usually the first place a lot of people go because it's off to your left if you're coming in through the ghost, uh, ghost town entrance by Ghost Rider. So hit up Waxworks. It's probably going to be a little bit of a wait, but not too bad. You should get out of Gypsy Camp roughly around 8 o'clock. Which is really yeah. good timing. Um, from there, worst case, worst case is eight thirty, but yeah. uh, eight o'clock roughly should take you an hour to do that, depending on what night you go in the crowd level. From there, what's the first scare zone they're gonna hit up so they can see that beauty? Yeah, when you get out of there, you're gonna hopefully the the sun will have set by this point, so you get to really embrace the fog that is uh, Ghost Town uh, streets. Yes, uh, Ghost Town streets, a fan favorite of the event, a long time scare zone at the event. Um, and this is definitely one you want to see, especially with the sun down, the fog rolling in, and the beautiful screams of guests in that alley. That's Fog Alley is n notorious worldwide. I mean, people want to go scare here. This is the scare zone to visit while you're at Not Scary Farm, so don't miss it. This is definitely one you're going to want to check out. Yeah, definitely. And, and one point we didn't touch on is you want to get there early. Get there for that opening uh, ceremony, right. scaremony, as you, as you may. Roughly um, just 6, because 6.30. Yeah, you want to get there early, get parking, get into the park, get in that scary money, watch it, and then hit that laugh. Because if you arrive later, then this game plan is going to be a lot harder because the later you arrive, the less time you have at the event. Um, to, but after you oh, – go, oh, go for it. I'm no, sorry. No, you're good. Go ahead. Finish off. Yeah, I was going to say, and then after you you know, get through Gypsy Camp, get through Ghost Town Streets, um, 
There's also another new maze, as we uh, covered on the channel already, Grimoire. Grimoire. Uh, Before we go any further with that, I also want to just elaborate a little bit on the um, the early thing. Uh, because they're in, in implementing new policies and stuff, too, you're going to want to get there early to get through security. There's always a lot of crowds of people coming out of the park for the day operations and people going in for scary farms. So you're going to want to get there a little bit early just so you can get your bag checked because they are implementing new bags, which we'll talk about in a later video. And, uh, you know, they're, they're implementing a lot of new policies for this year that uh, – or stuff that was brought up from the summer. So get there early so you can get in, get a good spot, see the opening ceremony. But back to the game plan, which was? Grimoire. You, Grimoire. <laughs> my favorite part about this, if you've been watching the channel, is I don't think Tony has said that word one time yet. Grimoire? Yeah, I have. Oh, now you've said it. Okay, cool. I said it on the last video. Did you? Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Well, That's the last me. video Guilty. we filmed. I don't know when you guys saw yeah. it. but <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Grimoire, Guilty. brand new maze uh, for 2022 with uh, Bloodline. We can promise you this is going to be another long one because it is a new one um, based around the 80s, and you're, it's looking like you're going to go through different eras of time with this uh, cursed book and this uh, like creepy abandoned treehouse in the middle of nowhere in the forest. So this is going to be a, uh, this one's kind of sounding exciting. They're going to try to bring a lot of those nightmares to life that these people conjured up. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to this. But from there, after you get scared and, and witness what this book does and what it what it is, you're going to shoot out to an area that looks like a barn. And where are they going to go from there? Yeah, definitely. Up next on uh, our game plan list would be to go into Origins, The Curse of Calico, um, a, a favorite of both Tony and, my, or Tony and I. Um, we enjoy this maze. Uh, this is going to be another long way, just full transparency. You've probably waited 45 minutes for Grimoire. Guaranteed, you're gonna have to probably wait another 45 minutes for Origins, um, but it's I would say well worth it. Probably one of the best walkthroughs I've ever been through. Yes. Um. So definitely gonna enjoy that. Get out. Um. Right there's a little drink station. So if you do need a little drinky poo at that point, you know, get a little, get a little uh, berry punch and Sprite. The fillable sipper cup, which we will talk about later on this yeah. week. Um. And then um, you're gonna want to go up to Pony Express, and then once you get past Pony Express. What are you going to be going into? We'll be heading to Memory Lane, baby, because Memory mm -hmm. Lane will take us into the Goring 20s. Now, this is going to be located on the trail past Pony Express, past the western entrance. You're going to cross some railroad tracks. You'll see the entrance sign to Memory Lane. That's the Goring 20s. That is another scare zone you'll be able to walk through. A lot of very talented people in that one as well. Um, so definitely uh, walk through and take it in. Enjoy it. But you're walking through that because you got to get to another great scare zone at Not Scary Farm, which is Carn Evil, uh, which is the clown themed scare zone at Not Scary Farm, because that is going to take you straight down to another maze, which we'll talk about in a bit. But take some time to enjoy Carn Evil. Um, they won a major uh, Han Award last year, so congratulations to them. That was a great scare zone. All the scare zones last year were great, um, so I'm excited to see them come back, and hopefully they're just going to want a taste of that. That glory, you know, who's going to come out as the top scare zone this year? We don't know. We're excited to see all the hard work and dedication that goes into it because we know these monsters at this event give 110% every single night, and we love it. But after Carnival, after you enjoyed that, after you've gotten your clown phobia out of the way, where are you going to next? Uh, you're going to want to go into uh, a little freak show of the mind here, and that is uh, old Mesmer. Mesmer, man. Mesmer was easily my favorite maze last season. Um, it's returning for its second year with a strong, strong launch for the first year. Um, so go really get mind fucked in there a lot because you will. And then we're going to shoot out. And we're going to go to the right because you shoot out onto the actual railroad tracks for Mesmer. We're going to go actually to the right back into the other half of Carnival, which you're going to be greeted to what, Sammy? Yeah, once you come back up, pass on by uh, the old Supreme Scream and the old Accelerator, and on your left-hand side, you will see the Dark Ride. Dark uh, Ride. A maze that uh, is, uh, uh, once again, like, we love all the mazes here, so yeah. it's... Uh, um, so this is another fun maze. You're going to get to go see uh, an, an abandoned dark ride and all of the uh, creatures that have uh, not found a new home just yet. 
Yeah, and uh, this year, as you know, we're going along, they should be roughly around maybe 11 or 12. If the event usually during like a, a, a Thursday and Sunday closes at 1, and Fridays and Saturdays usually at 2 in the past. So um, make sure to plan the night accordingly, especially knowing the times of thing. They should be roughly around 11 or 12, which should give you uh, more time, or it should give you enough time to finish the last three things on this list, which from the Exit of Dark Ride, we want you to go right straight down to the Calico Mine Ride and make a left back into Ghost Town across the railroad tracks. So you're going to actually make a U-turn and go straight down where the train station is and a tunnel that leads under to Silver Bullet. And from there, you're going to be entered into the world of Forsaken Lake. Now, another great scare zone. The costume designing is so beautiful in this maze. Um, and then the time period that they picked for this is such an incredible time period, uh, especially with the fashion they, they wear in this maze and stuff. So this is definitely one you want to go check out. Uh, you're going to walk all the way down the long um, uh, walkway there that's going to lead you into Fiesta Village. And you get to see the lake even more. So it brings that aesthetic of Forsaken Lake alive. You're going to cut through Fiesta Village, assuming that it is open. We haven't heard any rumors or, or anything that it's going to be closed for construction because it is supposed to be going into remodel. Through your final scare zone of the night, which you're going to walk all the way through to get to your final maze of the night. And what are those two, Sammy? Yeah, once you get through uh, Fiesta Village, uh, you know, say hello um, to the Jaguar. Go say hi to the Montezuma if she gets uh, fixed up. And then uh, you're going to want to go through a little Camp Snoopy and get into the hollow um really really fun scare zone um a lot of great sliding over there um heard the ground is real nice for that so want to go through the hollow keep your eyes peeled they might be coming through at your legs so <laughs> stay tuned yeah. um and walk through take a nice little cruise through uh, camp snoopy and the hollow and then you'll eventually hit the last maze of the evening which is pumpkin eater and so you want to go through that, go um, come face to face with the pumpkin. Um, this one will probably be a little bit of a shorter wait, um, especially as it is edging closer to the evening um, and go through there. And it's going to put you right back at, like in the middle of the hollow. So you'll have to walk through it a little bit more. Um, and then depending on uh, how quickly you got through all of that, you might have some more time to go back. Maybe go hit bloodline another time because there's rumors that there's an A side, B side. So maybe go back there if you have a little bit more time. Um, or if you're a little bit more tired, go hit the parking lot and uh, go hit your bed. There it is. Now, we are going to be doing a vlog uh, for the opening night because we are running general admission. And we will be uh, showing you how the game plan worked for us. And if we have to go back and revise it or after the first night, we will do so. But we will be doing a vlog kind of uh, time by time as to where we are in the night, where the time is. We'll be showing you guys that. Just something fun to see that this game plan works. Something else we've never done in the past before. Um, we've only ever talked about on future videos, but um, I'm excited to try to do that this year. Um, so hopefully this all works for you guys. I, I know it usually our game plans in the past, at least for us, have worked and people have actually told us that our game plans have helped them in the past. Uh, we're just trying to make sure that if you have general mission, you get to experience all the mazes uh, and all the scare zones. Now, um, if you have time in the night and you really want to see a show, you can squeeze one of those in. They roughly go about like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, depending on the show, uh, Sammy is a big puppet up fan. So we're going to be making some time to see some puppet up. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, there's, you know, there's, they have the, uh, the tribute store. If you have time to go browse through that, that's a lot of fun. Um, or if you want to just sit down in, in a scare zone with a funnel cake at the end of the night after a long journey. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely excited for that. But Thank you for tuning in to our game plan for 2022 at Not Scary Farm. Stay tuned because we might be having a we're going to be having a game plan coming soon for Halloween Horror Nights on what we think would work for a general mission ticket. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but the rest of this week kicks off Not's Week. We have a lot of uh, fun videos for you guys. Uh, anticipation lists, um, know before you go. Such amazing content planned for this week. We are so stoked. We love doing Not's Week. We love doing Horror Nights Week. So. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. I'm Anthony. I'm Sam. We're the Knights of Horror. We'll see you guys real soon. Peace.